my problem with um, this whole thing about Greg and I hooking up is um, okay I did penthouse when I was younger we're talking years ago like mm. a, a decade decades ago mm. um, and I've got this reputation as this wild child and then Greg Inglis comes along it doesn't mean we've hooked up um, we're just friends mm. we have a lot in common mm. and I'm, I'm I've got a lot of male friends in my life who are exactly the same mm. and it's really upsetting how people can just look at you both and um, think straight away, oh, there's something else going on when there's not. It's just a shame that people put two and two together in their own minds um, when someone like Greg Inglis comes along and then I'm there as a friend who just wants to help him. Yeah. And this um, straight away the media want to, want to, want to make it look bad, yeah. which it's not. We've grown a friendship. That's all it is, just a friendship. I think Greg took the opportunity, knowing that I live in Brisbane, I have a private house in Brisbane, that he could possibly go somewhere where he could be alone and away from every, everything. I think he needed some solace. He needed just somewhere to go and, and be safe and feel safe and not be in a hotel situation, not be in front of the media. Greg was very happy to see me. I was happy to see him. We connected because we hadn't seen each other in a while and he does know a little bit about what I've been through in my personal life and I know obviously, like everyone else, what he's been through. All I can say is um, Greg as a person is just a, a friend that if I bumped into the street to, I'd, you know, we'd give each other a hug and, and you know, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a friendship that I think a lot of people have in life. Greg's a, um, a wonderful guy when you get to meet him. He's funny, he's um, courteous, he's loving, and he's like a big teddy bear. Everyone's got the right to a personal life behind closed doors at the home. And when this was splashed all over the media, I felt very intimidated and very vulnerable. And I felt like I'd let down my friend who needed time out. He was just in a happy mood. He was very happy to see me. I was happy to see him. It's just like two old friends catching up. Um, so there was nothing in toward at all. He um, was texting me and calling me and it's like a friend in need. He wanted just somewhere to go, some peace and quiet. And that's what I ended up doing for him. I think Greg wanted to come and just be no one and just hang out in a house in Queensland with me because it's far away from the NRL community and it's something he needed himself to do. He wanted some solace, he wanted some normal companionship. I feel he's in need of a lot of help and support and he just wanted to hide away from everything that weekend. I think Greg is struggling enormously with retirement. If your whole life is torn away from you, everything that you know, and suddenly it's different the next day when you wake up, I mean, it must be immensely um, terrifying. Like, we, like we, we acted like brother and sister the entire time. It definitely wasn't a party. And this is what upsets me, because the media have come out and said it was a, um, a party at my house. Um, at Belimba, but it wasn't. <laughs> we are very um, close uh, as friends, but more like a brother-sister relationship. And the whole thought of being anything more than that is just disgusting. And that's what's, that's what's so upsetting as well.